On the alien planet of Omeophysias, there are four kingdoms of eukaryotic life. The Oranicella, Maximinsa, Botramlamna, and Polycadia. Each kingdom is defined by the way the organisms within it are structured and how they sustain themselves. The Oranicella are primarily sessile organisms that perform photosynthesis using a yellow or orange pigment housed within organelles called crystalloclasts. Most of the alien plants have roots to absorb nutrients from soil and specialized structures for producing and releasing spores or gametes. The two most ancient lineages, however, lack these specialized structures, releasing reproductive cells in a less organized manner and directly absorbing nutrients from the environment. The next kingdom of life are the Maximinsa, and they feed using endocytosis, extending their cell membrane to bring in food. Though there are microscopic organisms in all four kingdoms, only the Maximinsa are primarily microscopic, with only a few species being visible with the naked eye. Also, unlike the other three kingdoms, the Maximinsa are unicellular. The majority of the Maximinsa have cilia to aid in moving around and sensing their surroundings. There are also two unique and diverse superphyla within the Maximinsa kingdom, the Duriforma and Oculiforma. The Duriforma have part of their bodies encased in a hard cell wall, and another part made of just a normal cell membrane to allow for feeding. The oculiforma are the most motile of the maximinsa, and they have at least one flagellum and at least one eye spot, allowing them to have more efficient and focused movement. All maximinsa primarily reproduce asexually in a form of reproduction called binary fission, where one cell divides into two identical clones. Many, however, are also capable of performing conjunction, a process in which two cells temporarily merge to exchange genetic material. Though this does not produce new offspring, it does contribute to genetic diversity. The third kingdom of alien life are the Batram Lamina, and they feed using a mouth. Most organisms in this kingdom are very motile, especially when compared to the macroscopic organisms in other kingdoms, and the majority of them have an ocular plate which they use much like eyes. The only phylum in which ocular plates are completely absent are the blind Kiyukivermi. They, along with the Lamina Vermi and Gelaticutta, are the most ancient of all Botram Lamina and reproduce hermaphroditically, meaning that all individuals within the phyla have both male and female reproductive structures. All other Botram Lamina fit into one of three subkingdoms defined by their form of reproduction, the Ateri Ovum, Trimeri Ovum, and Chiorphi Ovum. Of these, only the Ateri Ovum are not hermaphrodites, with distinct male and female sexes. The Ateri Ovum go through thicomatic reproduction, a form of reproduction in which the female produces small underdeveloped eggs and using an ovipositor inserts them into a male through his depository. After entering a male, the eggs travel to the spermatic chamber where a number of large sperm cells are housed, and once coming into contact with one, an egg becomes fertilized. The next subkingdom, the Trimeriovum, have reproductive organs located in one of their legs in the Trebaxilla and all of their legs in the radial corpa. After breeding, eggs are laid and the embryo is radially symmetrical. It stays radially symmetrical in the radial corpa, but becomes bilaterally symmetrical by the time it hatches in the tree baxilla. The final subkingdom are the Chiorphiovum. The reproductive organs of the Chiorphiovum are housed on their backs in a structure called the reproductive bell. The breeding organs emerge from their backs, as do the eggs, which stay on their backs until the young hatch. The final kingdom of eukaryotic life on Omeophysias are the Polycadia, and they feed by directly observing organic matter that comes into contact with their feeding tissues. The majority of macroscopic Polycadia are sessile, only staying in one place, though some can extend parts of their bodies. The Microcadia and Duocadia are mostly microscopic, though some Duocadia can be seen with the naked eye. These organisms can move around, though slowly, and are restricted to aquatic environments. The Stringtavina can also move around, but are terrestrial. Though they don't have the same mobility level as most Botram Lamina, they are the most motile Polycadia, and one class, the Polystavina, even have small feet. All Polycadia can reproduce asexually by producing spores or budding, as well as sexually by releasing male and female gametes into the air or water. These four kingdoms, 42 phyla, and 138 classes of alien life are the focus of the Omeophysias project, and going forward, We'll learn about their anatomy, how they're related to each other, their interactions with each other, and the environments they construct.